welcome. Good. Thank you. I could probably go on for a half an hour with you <laughs> on just your life, never mind how your life mirrors this story. Tell us about All My Puny Sorrows. All My Puny Sorrows is it's a novel, it's fiction about, um, about two sisters. And uh, one, uh, the older one, would uh, very much like to die, and the younger one very much wants to save her life. And, and uh, so, and this is uh, the, the raw material from my own life I, I took and, and shaped into, uh, into this narrative. Uh, my own sister um, killed herself in, in 2010, and uh, you know, and it was a time, obviously a horrible time, uh, uh, um, and, and it was a tragic death, but it also um, left me with lots and lots of questions uh, that, I, that I hope to raise in the book. I'm, I'm not sure that I have any answers, but. Did you see it coming? Did you want to save her? Of course, yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and um, you know, and and there's a shift, I think, in in the care in the protagonist's mind, in, in Yolandi's mind, as there was in mine. When you start to think, you know, what 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 do you do? What are what are our responsibilities to the people we love when they are asking uh, for us to help them die? You know, it's a, it's a very difficult, complex issue, and um, yeah, it's not it's not easy. The book grabs you page one as you're as the uh, story goes, the house being taken away, literally watching it disappear. And right. But fascinating that the sister that wants to die is the beautiful, wealthy one that seems to have everything. Right. Yeah, and the one that has a little life. bit of chaos yeah, is like, lot. please don't, or a lot. <laughs> yeah, so um, that's also a fascinating twist to this story as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, right, it's true. And I, and I mean, just to, you know, to sort of illustrate that this mental illness, depression, um, um, the the desire to end your life, I mean, that, that can happen to anybody um, and can strike anybody. And that's, it's terrifying. It's, it's a scary thought. It's scary for me, too. Um, and so, you know, the, the, I think there's a, there's a certain, um, mm, sensibility uh, sometimes people think that well you have this and you have that you know how can you possibly be unhappy and it doesn't work that way and so when somebody does given your life experience and it, what must be cathartic in writing it mm -hmm. down I would imagine mm -hmm. yeah I mean it's it's cathartic for sure but it's not necessary I mean you know when I'm writing it's it's what I do it's I you know right. um, I, I, I'm, I'm a fiction writer and and so you know I'm also concerned about the craft of it and you know creating narrative and character and theme and dialogue and, and all of that stuff. So, it, you know, it's not only cathartic, but but certainly it does have that after effect. Right. Okay. So, what would your advice be to somebody who might be going through something that your characters have dealt with, or that you personally have dealt with? Is there a lesson behind something for these two? <laughs> well, I'm not sure. I mean, you know, we're told and we believe, and it's true that you know we need to we need to we need to love um, well the people around us, the people close to us. But I think we need to also. Um, try and understand what that means to the other person, how we love another person. And how we listen and, and how, how we, we hear. Yes, it's, um, there are other things that, uh, that draw parallels to your world, but what I found interesting in looking at All My Puny Sorrows is the, the fact that it's set in a Mennonite community. Right. Mm -hmm. what, what inspired that? Well, I am a Mennonite. And, oh, I and, didn't know uh, that. <laughs> it's, it I should read the back of the book. Uh, and uh, and um, my, uh, so my book, A Complicated Kindness, um, which I wrote 10 years ago, was set in East, in East Village, in the same community that this book, um, that the sisters come from. And so it was sort of like a little, a little call back, a kind of echo. Um, so it really yeah, mirrors so. that, even though mm -hmm. it is yeah. fiction, as you say. Yeah, and they're 10 years, uh, not 10 years there, you know, they're in their 40s now, whereas the two sisters in A Complicated Kindness, Kindness. were teenagers. And they've grown up. And where yeah. can we find you this evening? You are at the yeah. Vancouver Writers Fest, of course, the Norman Rothstein Theater. People can come down and see you, bring the book, get a little uh, autograph <laughs> signed here. 950 West 41st, Ave 41st Avenue, Miriam Taves. Please don't take this book away from me. I'm not quite it's finished it. <laughs> it is fabulous. It grabs you in the first few pages. And uh, thrilled to meet you. And thank you for sharing nice your story you. of these wonderful sisters. Thanks very much Appreciate for having it. me.